Boo boo da boo boo. Yay! I heard about this thing called Dark Urge, which is just like be evil, as far as I can tell. I'm doing a different, not so evil character in my main game. And I'm going to give you the benefit of not having to see it. TLDR! A tadpole crawled into your eyeball. Okay, we get to set our character. That'd be kind of fun to play Drow. Dark vision, weapon training, racial speed, uh, advantages against being charmed, and sleep. Raised by a cult, but Drow's in body, the virtues of corruption, and the merciless goddess. Found seeking allies from our Faerun to settle their conflict. Oh, I'm evil. You know, it might be kind of fun going rogue, because then we can just, like, go silently kill everyone. Yeah, let's kill everyone quietly. That sounds fun. Background, the Haunted One. A wicked moment person or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever you go, or perhaps... It... Okay. Some high decks... And bonuses do a lot of things. Okay. I feel like I want charisma for this character. Because as much as it is nice to have bonuses and other things, it would be nice to be able to, like, charm people and be like, oh, no, no, this is definitely a good idea. Like, against their be better judgment. Don't know how valuable it will be of higher, like, how high charisma matters. How high of charisma do I need? Like, I, I want dex. Like, I want high dex. Like, I am a dex character, but... Though, I kind of feel like I want to swap sleight of hand to deception instead. Because I want to be able to deceive people specifically. I think I'm also going to swap out uh, acrobatics and take persuasion instead. Because I want to be able to deceive and persuade. Like, I genuinely want to be able to fuck with people, like, real, real hard. <laughs> I didn't actually customize the look of my character at any point. That probably would help me. No, I, I kind of feel like I don't want to be scary. I want to be, like, really... I want to make my character, like, really attractive and desirable. So that she can use that to... Uh, Manipulate people. Also, this is the tattoo I have on my main character. Sorry, what? Lapis Stud Muffin? <laughs> that is a good... That's a good name. I don't know if she'd want to grow her hair out. Like, I think she looked great like this, but I don't know if she would grow her hair out just because... She, I think she'd want something, like, as basic as possible. Yeah, that actually looks a lot more like her personality, I think. No, I, I, I don't want to make her stern. I want to make her, like, easy on the eyes so that she can screw with people. The, like, I'll invite you back to my chambers to fuck and then stab you in the neck kind of thing. Oh, her her eyes have to be, like, red-ish. Because she, cause of, like, her descendancy makes her eyes, like, red. There. This is kind of a more muted red. I like that. Okay. This is her. Oh, I should actually make a name for her, shouldn't I? I mean, I could go through for, like, a really simple thing and go Lilith. Actually, I could go Lolith. <laughs> so go with, like, Loth Sworn. No, that looks like Lolith. I don't like that. Lilith Dark Shroud. Sure. I like that. Meanwhile, back on the Mind Flare ship. Let the probing begin. Nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache, but you are in danger. Oh, okay, sound's actually coming through now for some reason. Why? Okay, I don't understand what is going on, but it started working, and I'm just going to keep an eye on it, and hopefully it keeps working. Okay. Options are, curse whoever did this, say your name aloud, you have a part of yourself, take a deep breath, shake your head, and start anew. The dark urge, whatever that is, 
That is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. Okay, so we are inside the ship. Cartilaginous chest. Ew. This is the nursery that the eye poles came out of. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigate the pool. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. I go to slight touch. Towards pool. Oh. Okay. Well, the slightest touch caused it to crumble. Better. And now I will go through the sphincter. No, I'm not just calling it that. It says sphincter, so I'm going through the sphincter. No, I'm not going up there. It gets real gross real fast. And honestly, I've seen enough. Uh, it, no, there's like a person's exposed brain up there. It's gross. So I'm gonna just avoid that. Oh. No! Izel, no! sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes so because we have tadpoles on our heads we can see each other's thoughts kind of what is this the ldr turning into mind players there must be something we can do until we escape that must be our priority first we exterminate the imps then we find the helm and take control of the ship we will address the cool. matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Time to attack. You prove surprisingly adequate. What's hiding here? Thanks yeah. for telling me I'm adequate. That's all I ever wanted is to be adequate. Oh, it's trippy looking down. I'm gonna try not to do that. Let's go through the sphincter. I think this is a good idea. Aha! Things! Sacrificed cultist. Gave machinery. I can make no sense of it. The man isn't dead. You're but one step from oblivion stupor yourself, still wading through. Can I get. Hmm. Yes, I got XP from it. Perfect. Okay, well, if I can get XP, then... If I can get XP, then I'll definitely kill these guys. I genuinely don't remember how to interact with this. Besides, like, genuinely attacking it, I don't know... It says that there's a slot in it, but I don't know what the slot could be for. Like, I don't feel like my character would spend a lot of time looking. I'll be honest, but also, uh, I want a cleric. <laughs> also, she's kind of like an evil cleric, so she's cool. Oh no, that actually is the helm. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Okay, I did not mean to just skip everything. Ah oh, shit. Okay, well, TLDR of what I just totally skipped was that <laughs> the Mind Flayer thinks we're a thrall, so they're telling us to go do things. Would really have liked to get Shadow Heart, but I think I went to the wrong place, so. Uh, fuck me? Why do I keep hitting space? I need to stop ending my turn. 
Oh, because take all also is space. Okay. Would love to go stab the mind player in the back, but I don't think that will benefit me. Hurry before they strike. I need to stop hitting skip automatically. My brain's like must skip things. I'm tempted to see if I can get the last hit on the Mind Flare for the XP. Uh, loot some of this stuff because I'm not going to have the chance after because we're going to fall into the ground. Oh, the Mind Flare is dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, no. Oh god, this is going so much worse than I expected it to. I guess I'm not going to save Shadowheart at all if they're behind me. The Hazel started a conversation with the console. You've made it in time. Big Dwagon friend. How is she unscathed from that? Come on. Be a pretty weird sight to see giant flying snail. Octopus snail ship thing. Everyone's awfully calm about this. Oh, well, they're not. He looks angry. Oh, oh no. I resent your existence. She remembers even less than you than that usual now. You half expected uh. your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Vengeance! I will take vengeance on the mind flayers because they killed my parents in an alley. You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. I remember the last time you stood up. Stood above a corpse, push the smile away. This is vile. Let the grin fall across your face. I'm, I'm curious what the intelligence does. Oh, okay. I mean, I have a plus zero in intelligence, so I didn't expect much, but... As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable. Deep within your heart. Poor fishers, they were just like, I'm gonna go catch a salmon! Oh god! And then a giant squid creature falls on them. Perfumed letter. I love you, there I said it. And if you meet to if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And we'll keep on saying it until we're old and grey, so let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate, I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Well. Yes, I need to go and kill Anna. <laughs> Who is... Oh, Shadowheart's over here! Oh my gosh, she's alive! She's gonna be really mad at me, even though it's not my fault that I accidentally wandered away from her. Hi, Shadowheart. 
in on another stepper up. Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. Yes, thank you. I did Least try. You made the effort. I did. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion. Resolve. And a hint of gratitude. Thank you, because I did actually try. Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. I didn't feel a thing. The mind swapped. I've experienced it before on the ship. You felt it too. I remember you survived those monster pods then. You've no fear for one of Loth's chosen? Curious. I would want to say the last one because I'm curious what it does, but I have no idea who I am or what a Loth's chosen is. So that's not good. That doesn't make sense. Mind swap. I experienced it on the ship. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. I'm down, we escaped. I feel fine. Are you sure? You know what mind flayers tell me everything. Well, I mean I know nothing, so much, tell me shit. But enough to be afraid. This is how they breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left. But I'm not going to wait to find out. You I'm in danger. need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. But you're a healer. We I need a different fast. healer. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. I'd say that she automatically says this without really realizing it, and then she understands By things. I don't know. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. I don't think I want to promote violence immediately. I feel like my character would like to hide her bloodlust. So she would naturally be like, I want some help. It's we'll better to be with other people. For our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Wait, I can uh, just admit I'm the Dark Urge? I don't totally know what that means, but... Oh, I should just immediately hit on her. <laughs> uh, how do you end up on the ship? You know, I think I'd rather take my chance without you. Okay, I'll just introduce myself. Lockpick. Yeah, plus six, so that's pretty good. Ah, uh, fuck. To be fair, I don't actually want to go in here, so let's just say I can't do it. Okay, I can't do it. Time to leave. Sneak attack range, sneak attack range. Cutting to the chase. This. Oh, what? Oh, I was in a clearly lit area, so they were like, Why are you sneaking up? I can clearly see you. Into the ship I go. Try this again, I'm gonna hide. Breathe deep and move. Hide and do this thing. Oh, did they see me? They must have seen me or something beforehand. I don't know what happened. Shadow Heart, what can you do for me? Well, I mean, you could just Sacred Fire a bit. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> well, I can't move anyway, so. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to attack this one. I'm going to use my main action to attack this one. Yay. No. Oh. Yay, I'm killing things. Ow. We're badly wounded. Okay, I can main hand attack this. Wait, this is this is Shadow Heart. I'm not paying enough attention, apparently. Okay, healing word. E. Well, let's get the one off Shadow Heart first, and then see if I can kill this with a offhand. Nope. Okay. Ow. Whatever. <laughs> she walked into fire and died. 
right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice there was fire there. <laughs> that was easily avoidable. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as we just died, uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back in a moment with more Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, for those on, on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon.